Hello, my belly dance friends, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have a very special guest showing us an ultra glam stage makeup look. It's my friend Devin. I met Devin at Rose Movement Studio a few years back. Then we ended up working together, started collaborating for Captain Burton's Fun Time Sideshow Circus. Circus? And she's just a brilliant, creative, artistic person. And she always looks amazingly glamorous on stage. She does her own costuming for the Corcoran. I'll link that below. She creates jewelry, costuming, and accessories. People have been asking Devin to do some makeup tutorials for a while, so I'm super excited to get her on my channel. Without further ado, let's get to this makeup. Here's Devin. Hi everybody, this is Devin Allfather. I'm going to be doing a ultra glam look for you guys today. Um, and I'll be explaining my step-by-step -step process. And as you can see, I do have some eyebrows on and some remnants of other makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off and we're gonna get started. By the way, I'm starting out priming my eyelids. I'm dipping into the NYX palette with a soft round brush using a dark red shade. This is gonna be our base shade that everything else gets blended into. I'm accentuating the eye socket, um, pushing it into the corners. And next I'm going in with a slightly darker metallic shade. Um, this is from that other palette. And I'm starting to carve out the first suggestion of my eye socket itself. I'm extending the line, taking it all the way out to my eyebrows. And now I'm dipping in with a black amalgam, so um, a color that's close to black. In this case, it's a very dark raspberry. And I'm dotting that into the outer corner, sweeping it into the... Um, into the corner and uh, that face there is to show you that I'm accentuating it. I'm dipping back in with a red shade making the interior sections pop, that middle section there, pulling out the like the ball part of my eyeball and now I'm going in with an All Eyes on Me Cosmetics highlighter. I'm doing the brow bone and I'm doing the inner corner and there's a reason that I'm using my finger. I'm using my finger because the oils uh, in my finger really helps that highlighter do its best work. If I use a brush, it will diffuse it and it'll be very pretty, but I'm not going for that. I would like it to be blinding. Um, and I'm also drawing it all the way up in that inner socket, just gently blending it. And now I'm going in with a Too Faced liquid eyeshadow. This can be any liquid eyeshadow that you want. The reason I'm using this is to carve out that eye socket. I'm doing like a faux cut crease with this. If I wanted to be very extra, I would do it with concealer first and uh, carve it out with black, but I'm going for a little bit more subtle. I'm using that same pseudo black shade again, um, carving out the upper part of that crease. Again, I'm using a liner brush for this, an angled liner. Uh, it literally costs a dollar. It's from e.l.f. Uh, your girl is not that fancy. Um, I'm applying some lash glue right now to my false lashes. This is the next part in our process. And if you're very extra like me, um, you can do your eyeliner and your eye mascara while your lash glue is drying. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm keeping it very close to the lash line. I'm really scrubbing the mascara in. Um, this is the time to like take your time applying that mascara, scrub it top and bottom. And my eyelashes are still drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer. I don't use foundation, I use two different kinds of concealer and I really only use them in the center of my face and feather them out towards the ends. Um, this is the Maybelline Cosmetics. And then of course, Shape Tape, you all knew it was coming. Um, I use a very small amount of this because it is uh, likely to crease on me. Um, it oxidizes weird sometimes, so I just use it in a few key places. And of course, I use my fingers for this. I know I'm gonna get um, red to filth for it, but hear me out. Um, I can blend it more easily with my fingers than I can with the beauty blender and additionally uh, I wash my hands after I do this and I have clean fingers when I start my makeup which means that my uh, brush if you will is always clean for foundation um, and this has helped me avoid breakouts quite a lot. I used to get uh, quite a crap load of acne um, from not having super clean brushes and if you're doing you know four shows a week I don't want to be cleaning my brushes that often. Oh, I'm showing you where I'm applying my concealer. I really leave that square uh, just barely blended. Of course, also blend in the neck. And my eyelashes are finally dry, so now it's time to apply them. I'm applying them uh, at a lifted angle, so I'm above the lash line here, which is why I add that extra liner underneath it to make it look seamless. And that's me showing you the angle. 
It's a very technical process. As you get more comfortable with this, you can use your fingers. I know lots of people use tweezers. I just get right in there and bang them on. Um, as I said, as you get more comfortable, you can do whatever you want. And this is me demonstrating where to put my contour. I'm using a Milani contour for this, and I didn't show it because I misedited that part. I'm doing the classical C shape, but uh, I've altered it to fit my face shape. I want my contour to be higher rather than lower um, because I'm looking to pull my whole face up. I have a very like prominent jawline, uh, heavier on the bottom. I'm showing a blusher that I'm using. It doesn't really matter what brand it is, but I'm going for a deep pink blush to warm it up, especially for stage, for, for long distance stage. Um, if I use a raspberry color, I can, I can sort of always tell if people are, <laughs> that's a very technical process, if people are um, used to doing their makeup a certain way, maybe from the 70s and 80s, they'll use a raspberry shade. Um, I'm going back in with my highlighter on top, and you'll notice how much higher than my cheekbones I applied that blush, and I'm applying that highlighter. Again, using my fingers, because the oils in my fingers are really gonna make that blinding, and that's what I'm going for. I've tried it other methods, and this is really just the one that, that works best for me on my skin. Um, and of course, skincare and priming could be a whole video by itself. Um, but there, do you see that? Do you see how bright that is? Um, that's because I've achieved enough layering. That's one reason why I love this highlight, is because in raking light, it still shows a white bright powder rather than like a dark metallic. And I'm showing where I'm highlighting. I do the tip of my nose, uh, bathe me in the highlight. That's what that face says. And now I'm going back in on top of my lashes with liner. This is your time to really take your time with the liner. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna mess it up, this is where that happens. So really take your time. Um, my highlighter is in lots of places on my face. I tend to beam out my uh, forehead. This is also sometimes called strobing. I do the temples, the inner portions above my eyebrows, and I also do inner corners of the eye, under the brow bone, and cheekbones, tip of the nose, and of course the cupid's bow. Um, I'm showing my eyeliner right now. I'm pecking into the inner corner, and now I'm finally going to start doing that wing. I do one wing on my non-dominant side, and then I make the other wing match it. And this, of course, sits on top of everything else, on top of the highlighter, on top of everything else. And I'm carving in under, carving in my lash line. Going back in with an angle brush using that black amalgam shade. It is going on my brows. For my eyebrows, I don't really think that hard about them. I just sort of follow their natural curve and accentuate the angles. So rather than rounding, I'm using the curve. And there I was dipping back into that metallic red. I'm gonna find the lower lash line. This is something I do just for big stage productions as I go all the way under the eye with it and carve out the eye shape. And you'll see why I do that at the end of the video. Um, but I'm really making the eyes stand out all on their own. If you're really feeling spicy, you can put some of that same eye color into the center of your eyebrows. Um, they would naturally be lighter than the rest of your eyebrow. Um, if you're feeling spicy, you can do that. I'm showing contour uh, right now. This is a true contour color to hollow out the cheekbones. Um, I'm being very light-handed, super duper light-handed. I go under the nose, under the bottom lip, and very barely, barely, barely. Uh, under the cheekbones and I don't drag it very far into my face. Um, the reason being that if you're photographed from the side and you have a super deep contour, um, it doesn't read particularly well. It may read well um, on camera, but in those photographs after the show, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit a little bit rough. It also <laughs> works with my face shape. Uh, now comes time to marry the lashes. I'm rolling rolling them uh, together because if I drag it's gonna tear them off and now I'm doing that thing um, that you guys have seen me do before I'm going in and feathering I'm like literally drawing on some hairs onto my eyebrows um, this is something I might go ham with if I'm doing a character show um, I might accentuate the angles further I might draw it up into the temples um, I'm now going in with some pressed glitter for highlight I'm using a, a sort of sunny shade in this and I'm layering the highlight. If you guys have wondered how I get my highlights to read both from uh, stage lights, like for video and also for uh, photographs, this is how I do it. I layer them so that it works in multiple ways. And I'm doing lips. Um, this could be any color that you want. I chose to do a crazy ridiculous one because I was doing a crazy ridiculous uh, video after this. I did a video shoot. Um, and you'll notice when I overdraw my lips, I focus on Really just the center is what gets overdrawn top and bottom. 
sort of hot dog style rather than hamburger style, as referred to by no one except me in this moment. Um, I'm overdrawing the cupid's bow and not at the corners. And now I'm adding in some space paste, some glitter. Um, this stuff is a gel bound uh, glitter, so it's not something that you want to use in places where you're going to get raking light. Um, now I'm going back in with a white highlighter. This is purely like white eyeliner from NYX. It does dry down to a like hard uh, flake offable substance. I'm doing a drag technique where I go under the eyes like that. Um, this is why having that little liner of color really helps. Um, I'm, I'm sort of sketching out where I want my eyes to be so that I'm visible from the 30th row as well as the third row. And I'm carving out under the wings, which is going to make those read from further back as well. Now I'm using a setting spray. Be whatever setting spray you want. Spritz, 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 spritz. And now I'm doing a uh, middle of the lower lip highlight. Um, if I did like an ombre lip, I wouldn't necessarily do this, but I feel like from stage it reads quite well. And this is gratuitous glamour shots in uh, daylight. Making a face. And then in lower light, this is why we layer the highlights so hard, is because under stage lighting, you might have raking light, um, which is going to make those big glitter chunks read as uh, spots of darkness on your face, which is why I use them very sparingly, um, just in places where I'm not going to be upset if they're <laughs> read weirdly. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. So gorgeous. I mean, just, it doesn't... <sighs> thanks, Devin. You look brilliant as always. I will link Devin's social media below. Also, the Corcorum if you want to reach out to her for a custom costume or any jewelry and accessories. She's also teaching online classes currently, so you can check those out on the links below. If you liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button so that you can see other content that is coming out every week. And if you'd like to be notified every time there's a new upload, go ahead and hit that notifications bell and it will be done. Check in on Sundays for interviews and special topics in Belly Dance. Next Wednesday, we'll have another makeup tutorial. I tell who it is. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much. Cool. Cool, 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 cool.